Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Mother Swimming with Children Unknowingly Films Sizable Crocodile at Popular Townsville Swimming Spot. China Gives Maldives Military Assistance as Indian Troops Leave. Bank Founder Wants Women to Drive AI Revolution. Apple iPhone Sales Plunge 24% in China's Troubled Mobile Market. Tech Latest AI Takes Center Stage at Mobile World Congress 2024. Mother Swimming with Children Unknowingly Films, Sizable, Crocodile at Popular Townsville Swimming Spot. ABC. A mother of five from North Queensland has spoken of her lucky escape after unknowingly swimming within meters of a crocodile at a popular creek. Alicia May and her children were swimming at Rolling Stone Creek, north of Townsville, last Saturday when they noticed a large dark shape lurking beneath the water. Upon reviewing the footage later that day, May saw the outline of a crocodile measuring approximately three meters in length. This is the fourth crocodile sighting reported in the area in the past year. May has said she will not return to the swimming spot again. China gives Maldives military assistance as Indian troops leave. Bloomberg. China has agreed to provide free military assistance to the Maldives, just months after Indian troops were forced to leave the country. The move signals closer defense ties between the Maldives and China, following the election of President Mohamed Muizu in September. Muizu campaigned on promises to reduce India's influence on the country and draw closer to Beijing. The agreement was signed by the Maldivian Ministry of Defense in China, although no specific details were provided. China has also reportedly provided 12 eco-friendly ambulances to the Maldives. Bank founder wants women to drive AI revolution. BBC. And Bowden, the founder of Starling Bank, has called for Wales to lead a revolution in artificial intelligence, AI, driven by women. Bowden, who has led a UK government task force to encourage women entrepreneurs, said she hoped Wales and Swansea could play a major role in the growth of AI businesses. She said that companies led by women could help Wales become a focal point for AI and deep learning businesses. Only 2% of funding for startups is currently awarded to firms led by women. Apple iPhone sales plunged 24% in China's troubled mobile market. Bloomberg. Apple's iPhone sales in China have declined by 24% in the first six weeks of this year causing it to fall to fourth place among smartphone vendors in the country. Vivo, a Dunguan-based manufacturer, took the top spot, while Huawei Technologies grew its market share to 16.5% from 9.4%. Apple's struggles in China are partly due to the wider market downturn, and the company has been offering discounts to stimulate demand. However, overall smartphone sales in China were down 7%, casting doubt on hopes for a rebound. Tech Latest, AI Takes Center Stage at Mobile World Congress 2024. Nikkei Asia. In this podcast episode, Jaden Agumo speaks with Taipei Tech Correspondents Annie Chengting Fong and Laoli Li about the highlights of the 2024 Mobile World Congress, where major telecom equipment makers and smartphone giants showcase their newest AI innovations. China vows to mobilize nation as it fights US for tech supremacy. Bloomberg. China has pledged to use the country's resources to accelerate homegrown scientific breakthroughs, with the aim of becoming self-reliant in areas such as AI and chipmaking. The Chinese government plans to increase spending on scientific and technology research by 10% to 370.8 billion Chinese yuan, $51.5 billion, in 2024. It also aims to promote national champions and involve enterprises in spearheading technological advances. China faces numerous challenges, including U.S. efforts to restrict its progress in crucial technologies such as chips and AI. China's semiconductor industry is also facing difficulties in obtaining the equipment it needs to advance. China's top legislature vows to overcome U.S. tech and science sanctions. South China Morning Post. China has declared that U.S. sanctions and other measures to contain China in technology, including 5G, semiconductors, and artificial intelligence, will ultimately be futile. The National People's Congress, NPC, spokesman stated that China is steadfast in its resolve for self-reliance in science and technology and that no technological obstacle is too great to overcome. China's response to the U.S. containment strategy will be a call to arms for global technological innovation and collaboration. NPC plans to accelerate legislation in cutting-edge technological domains such as AI and biotechnology. However, China's semiconductor industry appears less optimistic under U.S. sanctions as it struggles to produce semiconductors for the most advanced processes and remains behind in basic research and industrial applications. China aims for self-reliance in tech, vows to open manufacturing to foreign investors. Yahoo! China has pledged to develop sectors including artificial intelligence and space, while loosening access to its manufacturing and services sectors, to encourage foreign investors. However, the country's 2020 negative list, 
which restricts or prohibits access to sectors, was cut by only six sectors to 117, compared to 123 the previous year, while foreign direct investment in China dropped for the first time in a decade last year. Foreign investors will face major competition from Chinese counterparts, said Dan Wang, the chief economist of Hang Seng Bank China. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Sixth Dimension. Today, we have quite the eclectic mix of news to discuss. From crocodile encounters in Australia to China's tech ambitions, there's something for everyone. So, let's jump right in, shall we? First up, we have a mother in North Queensland who unknowingly filmed a crocodile while swimming with her children. Talk about a close call. I suggest she invests in a good pair of goggles next time. Moving on, China has been providing military assistance to the Maldives, signaling a closer relationship between the two countries. Looks like India's influence is being challenged in the region. In tech news, the founder of Starling Bank, and Bowden, is calling for Wales to lead the AI revolution, led by women. Watch out, Silicon Valley, Wales might just steal your thunder. Meanwhile, Apple is facing a decline in iPhone sales in China. Looks like they'll need more than just a discounted price to win over Chinese consumers. Speaking of tech, the Mobile World Congress showcased the latest AI innovations. I'm sure our tech-savvy viewers would have loved to be there. And in a bid to fight for tech supremacy, China is vowing to mobilize its resources to become self-reliant in areas like AI and chipmaking. Looks like the battle between China and the US is heating up. But fear not, China is determined to overcome US tech and science sanctions. They're not backing down, folks. And in a gesture to attract foreign investors, China is opening up its manufacturing and services sectors, but with a catch. Foreign investors will face some stiff competition from their Chinese counterparts. Well, that's all the news we have for today. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? From crocodiles to AI, there's never a dull moment in our world. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these stories. What are your ideas? Do you think the crocodile was just looking for a swim buddy? Or perhaps you have insights into China's tech ambitions? Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, this is Dr. Six signing off from the Sixth Dimension. Stay curious, my friends. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.